banners like this are blanketing the Kent State campus. This one reads, you're Asian, so you can do nails, right? A shocking statement, and that was just one of the milder ones. You can bet the flyers are raising eyebrows. But they're also causing awareness of social issues, and that's what they're meant to do. News Channel 5's Dan Haggerty joins me now. And Dan, student groups are responsible for these flyers. Yeah, that's right, Leah. Fraternity and a sorority put them together. They wanted to call some attention to a forum that they're putting together tonight. And they got attention. The reaction is varying a bit. And it's probably going to vary for some people at home as well. Uh, some of this stuff might offend you, might shock you. But we had to show it to tell the story. Take a look. The women of Delta Sigma Theta had to put up some new flyers in the student center at Kent State University because someone ripped the old ones down. Most of the flyers here don't even get a second look. They blend into the background of a busy cafeteria, but these ones tend to stand out. I just saw the sign for the first time, but I think it's going to stir up like some racial tensions. I would find them offensive, and I wouldn't probably go to this forum to have a conversation about it. The forum is tonight. The where and when is listed at the bottom of each flyer, and there are a lot of them. This one reads, you're Asian, so you do nails, right? Another shows the picture of an African-American baby and reads, what a cute baby boy. You're going to grow up to be a deadbeat dad. Other flyers insult sex, race, nationality, or religion. We did that on purpose to first offend people to draw them in to read it. If you just put, this will be an open discussion about stereotypes, then they're like, I'm probably going to skip that. I have class or something. Ashley Bennett helped come up with the idea for the flyers. They got the attention of campus minister Michael Puckett. You know, you have to sort of put yourself out there to be seen and noticed. Uh, but, you know, uh, where do you draw the line, I guess, is the question. While the women hanging these signs only want one question answered. When you, like, offend someone right there with the sign, it kind of gets, like, things stirred up. What will it take to fire people up to stop talking under their breath? People need to come out and tell their own stories. Because that's not always the case, and I feel like we need to talk about it. And their forum on stereotypes will be tonight. It's at 8.30 in Oscar Ritchie Lecture Hall. We will follow up with the organizers, see how things go, and let you know at home. Reporting live, I'm Dan Haggerty, News Channel 5. You know, Dan, each one of those flyers, though, it looked like at the bottom, it also made clear that this was driving attention to this forum. There was information about the forum on the flyer. That's right. The idea was to kind of shock people with these stereotypes that the organizers believe exist. And then at the bottom, after you've read it, possibly been offended, it's gotten your attention, it asks, do you disagree with this? And hopefully they're trying to use that question to spark some debate tonight. So it looks like they succeeded in shocking, and we'll see how the conversation gets started then. Dan, thanks very much.